Hey guys, Jake here on the Space Cake Jake channel, and welcome to some Star Wars Battlefront beta gameplay. Uh, yeah, I'm just here to give you my first impressions of the game. I've been playing a lot of the beta. I recorded a bunch of footage before this, but this here is the, the Walker Assault. So the beta has two game modes, two multiplayer game modes. One is Drop Zone, where you go around and grab a bunch of, uh, drop escape pod things, okay, and they drop those power-up things going on. Like the little blue circles, okay, those are the power-ups, okay. And they give you things like this portable shield that I just deployed, okay. So anyways, beta so far. One thing I can say is Tice got it good, like these graphics are amazing. I'm playing on PS4, by the way just let you guys know but oh my goodness the graphics are just amazing the jetpack is fun it's not like over powered or anything like that the cooldown is pretty long so basically I'm gonna you as you level up you unlock cards okay and these cards go into your hand which is what I got there right there in the bottom right screen is my hand R1, I have equipped this sniper rifle here. Okay, it's a single shot, you shoot it, then you gotta wait for it to cool down before you can shoot it again. Then L1, I got a uh, jetpack, which you already seen me use the jetpack, guys, so yada yada. And then the middle one is some kind of power, some kind of like uh, strategic advantage thing. I don't know what the word is. There's Luke, one of the uh, heroes that were available in the gameplay. It was him and Dark Vader. Dark Vader is not a hero in the Star Wars universe, but they're, the characters are called heroes. Those types of characters are called heroes. There's me failing with the jetpack. <laughs> Anyways, the middle one I got equipped called the Ion Charge Shot or something like that. I forget what it's called. As you can see, there's X-Wings and TIE Fighters up in the air going on, battling each other. That is amazing. How much, how many things are going on at once. There's an air battle going on, with me here as an infantry going on the ground, trying to stop the uh, rebels from using their uplink stations, which the uplink stations allow you to allow the rebel team to get more... Y-Wing bombers, which go around, and those bombers go around, and they attack the, they knock out the shields for the walkers, the at ats for a limited time, depending on how many bombers they have. So basically the goal is to shut these down so they get less bombers, so they get less time to attack the walkers with the shields down. Alright, I hope I explained that pretty good there. Next, the controls are pretty good, like, oh my goodness, the blasters are amazing. They have unlimited ammo, and it's it's very weird going from playing with uh, guns that are have ammo and swapping out with, like, your square button or something like that, to uh, watching and making sure you don't overheat the weapon. It's, it's pretty crazy, and you do have to lead into it. Okay, so controls are pretty fun, pretty good, as you can see. It does take some skill to uh, aim, like the sniper rifle I figure, I think is like one of the hardest things to aim on the thing. Um, next I'm going to talk about this game, my favorite bit, my favorite thing about this game, I mean, it's not the graphics, uh, well I like the graphics, it's the graphics. It's the everything that's going on. But the game just gives you that immersive feeling. It like immerses you into the Star Wars universe. From what I was reading is that they went, DICE went to uh, Lucasfilm and grabbed all of, went through the footage, the archi archives, they're called, I believe, of the Star Wars films, like, each sound in here is directly from the movie, is from what I was reading. 
So it just has that Star Wars feel. Like, you feel like you're actually on Hoth here. Attacking the Rebels or attacking the Empire. It's it's amazing. Um, I didn't really... There's no uh, video game, like, gameplay going on. No vehicle gameplay going on here, guys. But, you know... I do have... S I have fought in the TIE Fighter in the X-Wing, and they are a little bit easier to control than, like, the helicopters and the jets in a normal Battlefield game. Like, DICE did a pretty good job as at making this... S I don't know. I don't know what the word is. Not too hard to fly the vehicles, but hard enough that it does require some practice and some skill. Um, what I find, one of my favorite techniques is to use the sniper rifle, okay? Even if it doesn't kill him in one shot, you could take him out there and then just go take, and then you can shoot him from across the field, okay? Here's the Y-Wings that I was talking about. It says incoming, they get three of them. Now we have to defend the walker because the walker's shields are down, so basically you can attack him with normal lasers. So basically what I do with the sniper rifle. Long shot, and then I use the blaster rifle to finish them off. Um, there was four guns available through the unlock. Like you, The beta only allowed you to go to level 5. Okay. Like, there you go. That was a perfect example of what I just did there. Of what I'm talking about with the sniper rifle. Okay. I'm going to jet back over here. Take out another guy. As you can see, you do need to lead your gun into them. It's just not point and auto shoot them. Okay, so, what's next? Here we go. I can... The sound effects are amazing. Okay, as you can see, that power up there, that gives you a TIE Fighter. And then you use it and you get control of one of the TIE Fighters run it, it's flying around here. I was kind of annoyed there, because that guy stole it from out from under me. And then, you know, there's turrets on the map. All over the place. And you keep... I got wrecked by that one there. <laughs> there you go, that's a power-up that gives you something... That gives you either a shield, an infantry, like, automatic turret. That gives you a smart rocket, I believe it's called. And it can give you an... Ah, uh, Incendinary Imploder, which is ridiculous. Here's a fail here. I forgot that you can't... While the force field does block enemy lasers, it also blocks your lasers. So you can't shoot your gun outside of the uh, force field. It works both ways, guys. It works both ways. Um, all right, even. <laughs> Again, the game just gives you that awesome Star Wars feel to it. There's a uh, command, there's like taunts and stuff that you can use. One thing I did notice was like most of the characters were female. I mean, I don't know what the heck was going on with that. I, I, it was just really random to me. Because I thought that all the uh, people in the Empire were clones of Boba Fett, I think it was. No, Jango Fett. They're all clones of Jango Fett. Boba Fett's dad. Well, not really dad, but, you know, clone. And so I thought that all the uh, Empire was males. Because they were all clones. So that's that's... I didn't understand that bit. If you know what the heck's going on, maybe you can correct me. Maybe I'm just completely wrong about that. So, yeah. Again, sounds are awesome. Music is amazing. Gun battles feel very, like, uh, good. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah, I just got wrecked by that guy. Some of them, some of them you lose, and it just sucks because you thought that you should got. Like I thought I should have got that one. Uh, you can play in third person. 
if you hold your uh, button, your uh, down button, down D-pad on PS4, or I think that goes for Xbox One too. I'm not sure what key that is for PC. And playing in a third person is pretty nice. You can go around and you can... It gives you a better field of view, and that's pretty awesome. It does help you out quite a bit. Here we go. I'm just going to shut down this uplink. They're not... And then they should lose. Okay, I don't know exactly how it works. <laughs> Can, okay, I already talked about those power-ups. Um, the way you become uh, Luke Skywalker or Dark Vader or any of the other heroes is uh, they basically... Same way you get like a TIE Fighter or an X-Wing token or a power-up token there. Is they'll just be on the battlefield, just randomly somewhere. And you pick it up, and you can call in Luke Skywalker and play as him. Or call in Dark Vader and play as him. Um, yeah. I thought I got pretty good towards... I think I'm getting pretty good at the beta. Like, I'm getting better than I was. Like, my first game, I was like 3 to 10. And the first game mode I played was uh, the drop zone, so, yeah. <laughs> There's that thermal imploder that I was talking about. I completely messed that one up. But what can you do? There's the rifle overheating. I have a tendency of always overheating the rifle. So, yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Overall, I was pretty impressed with the game. Um, this beta has actually changed my mind on making me possibly want to buy it now. So, I think they did a good job. Good job, DICE. <laughs> Anytime the game makes me go from, I uh, don't really think I want to buy it to, oh, I think I want to pick that up now. I think they did a good job. Um, some epic stuff is about to come out, come down here. Like, just... Everything in the battlefield is crazy, especially at this part into the Walker Assault game mode. I haven't, there's a survival game mode that you can play with two players on console, but I haven't tried that. It just looks like your ordinary, like, Call of Duty, like, survival thing going on. Here, my character was glitching out a little bit. And you can see that. There's another thermal imploder. Those things are crazy. Here I am thinking that uh, maybe the sniper rifle that shoots a normal physical bullet can go through that shield. And I think it might be able to, but I didn't really get to test my theory. Here. I just went in for the kill. <laughs> I haven't found out what the heck that does yet, those charge things do. But whatever. Uh, you got those things walking around, I forget what they're called. The mini walkers. ATST, I think they're called. I don't know. I mean, I'm a Star Wars fan, but I'm not like a huge, like, crazy know it all fan. Here I am. I thought I took out Luke. But I think that other guy did instead. The heroes aren't really too overpowered. Like, if you're a hero, don't go up against, like, a bunch of people at once if you don't know what you're doing. <sighs> what bits of the hero that I did, heroes that I did get to play was, uh, you got the force power, you got your lightsaber, and then you got the ability to throw your lightsaber. So, that's pretty awesome. <gasps> did I skip... Like, there's this one gameplay where this Tide Fighter just comes crashing into the ground in front of me. I thought that was in here soon. Uh, yeah, I think, yep, yeah, there it is. Just a Tide Fighter just crashes right in front of me. Like, that was awesome. And then I get killed by this guy hiding behind that rubble. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Alright, overall, guys. I gotta say, if you haven't picked it up, you still got till uh, tomorrow. You still got until the, 
the 12th, I believe it ends. So yeah, I'd say uh, pick it up, guys, if you're really interested. What harm can it be for uh, a free beta that's open to everybody? But yeah, all right, guys. I'm just gonna just sit back and watch the gameplay with you. <laughs> What is that guy doing in front of me? Just jumping around. What the heck? <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Trip double kill. And then I lost that. We lost. Then I believe... How many kills did I get? What was my score? 19 and 13... 19 kills and 13 deaths. Not bad. I think that's my highest so far. Alright, guys. Later. Later. Like that. Alrighty. Let's place it like with a two block. So I think down. that's about it for that. Uh, we got those what done the there. Why? I say Why the fuck we would chop place down a there? bunch of wood and <laughs> plant the trees. Why would you place it on the wrong side? Though. Timber. No! I did tell you to place it on the opposite uh, side. You know, Woo! Oh, I need Perfect. to eat some pumpkin pies. Anyone found any secret numbers yet? Alright, I was talking about, like, here. Alright, so we're gonna get some of that, maybe oh, work on the house a little so bit here. 